and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for today's expedition. We're, uh, you know, we only get to do three expeditions each week. Of course, we had uh, the new week starts on Tuesdays, as you know, here with Legends of Runeterra. So we did those on um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday to end, you know, because as we were just starting the, the uh, game to end the week to make sure we finished them. Um, but now, you know, now it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I think Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays are normally going to be our expedition days because um, we want to get these done right away because, you know, we earn cards from and everything. And so earning the new cards means less cards to use on the wild cards. So so um, today's, you know, Wednesday. It's one of those three expedition days. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, you know, get to it. Let's Let's do that. I have two decks that we're going to be playing in ranked later on uh let's see you can't really see what they say there let me let me uh start this i'm going to use i'm going to use coins because i actually may need to use the shards for uh champions so i'm going to use coins here because there's a limited number of uh champions you can get each week but of course i, I want to be building you know, rank decks and, and competitive decks and everything like that. So we got two, two new decks today, a buffed elusives deck that I put together myself um, that I spent some time building this morning. I think that one will be fun. And then a fearsome mid range, um, a meta deck that looks pretty sweet. So that's, that's what we got for later on. All right. First, we're doing um, an expedition. We got Fiora, Karma, and Callista. Three good champions. I like all of them. Fiora is really strong, and you get the Prismatic Barrier to protect Fiora. Um, Detain just kind of works with if you're protecting stuff. That card's not as great, but yeah, we have Karma. Where we So Karma, we want to play like a slower control deck and just create a random spell every single turn. I think Karma is strong, is like real strong in... Uh, um, in expeditions because you know like drafting you know like there's not as much removal and stuff like that like with drafting and the games you you know can go a little longer so we get that but then we we would pair it with navori conspirator and green glade elder which aren't really great cards to pair with with karma like they're pretty aggressive cards and you want to play a whole lot of creatures with the elder or we could go Callista and just kind of go the self-sacrifice theme um the ephemeral theme and we get some exact copy of an ally. It's ephemeral and plus and um, and one one. And when I'm summoned, revived the strongest allied champion, which Rekindler is a, a good strong card too. I think Callista is the weakest of these three champions, though. I think Karma is probably a stronger card overall than Fiora, but Fiora has some some really good uh, cards to go along with it, and also Demacia is a is a really strong guild to be in or i guess these are whatever region it's a really good region to be in whenever you're doing an expedition because it's just it's basically just you know like good solid creatures with good rates and um and usually can do pretty well with that so I th let's go let's go fiora fiora is fun to play too hey calsonic i guess i oh I, that's right i always need to check check the votes see what what y'all are voting on Okay, yeah, y'all are voting for Fiora also. Cool. And good solid creatures kind of pairs with anything. Uh, I guess it doesn't pair with these as well. So, you know, if you go Teemo, you want to go super hard Teemo, which Chump Wump really works with Teemo well. We can go, you know, go back to Karma, because Karma, you know, Ion Ionia usually has just pretty decent you know it usually has like evasion creatures so you can just pair like creatures with good rate with with other creatures with evasion and so that's usually a good pairing um i think that's what we'll do so we basically get fiora and karma i think that's what we'll do yeah so then we get emerald awakener with lifesteal so if you play a longer game so this kind of works good with cure or karma sorry this works good with karma because you know you need to um hey crow king yeah oh fiora has awesome voice lines too <laughs> yeah uh so yeah this is you know a lifelink creature so lifelink of course helps the game go longer and then if, if you are enlightened it's a six six lifelinker and then this thing can be just a, a two five so 
those cards definitely work better with Karma than the other ones that we that uh, they showed did. Four cards that cost three mana and two. So we have three, 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 five, five for our curve. All right. Well, I'm not taking this. This last one is some strong cards, but we're not taking that. I always want to stay two regions. So we got Laurent Pro Protege, which is an awesome card. Um, Challenger is just a really powerful mechanic. And, you know, we have Fiora with Challenger. So we can go like Challenger plus Barriers and stuff like that. Like that's a good, um, that's a good theme to go with. And main. Mage Seeker Persuader is just expensive, but also a challenger. Or Dawn and Dusk and Zephyr Sage. Dawn and Dusk could kind of work well with like creating two Fioras, you know, for example. Or I, I mean, I guess we're just gonna go with this because the protege protege is like one of the better cards. Like that's a really good card. We'll do that. Hey, comments and collectibles. Um, unfortunately, I don't. I don't think I will be, and I'm sorry. All right. So again, we have, um, you know, the, this this region. I'm not taking it. We're going to be sticking with these regions. So we have Usari, which helps our challenger theme and and evasion. Um, we have Inspiring Mentor, which is which what used to be a lot better. We have Ongar that gives out all of our allies challenger this round. And a rush. Rush is actually a really good trick with challenger. Giving your creature with challenger a plus one plus zero and quick attack is awesome. So this is a really good trick. And then this just kind of gives all your allies challenger, which is also a pretty good trick. Yeah, you know, let's take let's take the tricks. Yeah, what it costs to draft, you can you can either get you get a um Thanks, collectibles. Um, you can you get a draft token whenever you know whenever you start. Um, also, each week, if you just hit level ten in your weekly award or weekly rewards, um, you have like a vault that levels up as as you play, and then every every Tuesday you unlock your vault. And if you hit level ten or higher, which it goes to thirteen, um, which I hit level ten after like th you know two or three days, so it's not that difficult to. But you get you get a free draft token if you just hit that. But then otherwise, it, it costs three thousand shards or three hundred coins, which is approximately three dollars um, for money if you're buying the coins with money. It's basically three dollars. Yeah, Usari Usari is a really strong card. That is that is true. Usari is a really strong card. All right, we got. Let's see what we got. We got Stand United. Yeah, yeah, with the elusive also, yeah, love. Uh, really like you, sorry. So again, rush, good, good card. Stand United, swap two allies, give them barrier. Hmm. Don't love it. We have Emerald Awakener, Life Steal. You got the plus four, plus four again, and then that that thing. Don't love those either. For Demacia and Detain, I don't love that one either. I don't love any of these really i mean i think i think my favorite card out of all these is probably the rush but we you know we need more like kind of cheaper creatures like these are pretty small creatures i guess these would work with rush of like keeping them alive don't love stand united yeah i know some of those freljor cards were pretty strong i just i have like a a hard and fast rule basically of just sticking with two fields. All right, so I guess I'm going to take Rush and Stand United. I just don't I don't love these two creatures, honestly. But now this means we have six six basically six creatures, six spells. We need a lot more creatures. So here we go. There we go. Tracker's a good good one drop and then First Blade's a pretty decent four drop cuz you play it as a four mana 2/2 two, two, then you attack with it and it gets plus 2 plus 2. So and that's not like until end of turn that's for good. So you attack so it's a this is really a four mana 4/4 four, four. you play it and attack immediately. And then if it survives then you know like you can attack again and make it a 6/6 six, six and so on. Or get, have Green Glade Duos an awesome creature. Shadow Sift is not a creature. And some good Freljord spells. I'm going to just take I'm going to take this first one. I want this one drop, four drop, on the two creatures. 
That is true. Uh, yeah, so basically, so why? Because going three colors doesn't matter as much. Because once you start going, like, the, the three colors, then, um, then, like, these buckets, it's, they don't give, like, they, you know, starts, they keep splitting the buckets more and more. Um, and I think just, so basically hammering in at least two regions kind of uh, curves that off, and then they stop giving you, like, the other buckets and stuff. Hey, what's up, G Gamer Josie? No, Max Savage. No, unfortunately not. No, we're playing some uh, some Legends of Runeterra, which is awesome. Yeah, these are these are all good picks. So, Swiftwing Challenger is an awesome awesome five drop, a big challenger, and with Last Breath, that card's awesome. War Chefs is awesome. Give you know two three works really well with Challenger because you give your supported ally that. That's so. This is a great great one here. Then we have Inside of the Ages, Ritual of Renewal. Oh, that one's not any good. But then Repost is an awesome protection spell, and Redoubled Valor is... Eh, it's okay. You get to double the power and health to something. It works really well with Fiora. You know, you want to double up... Like, both of these cards are awesome when you have Fiora in play. But I think I want, I want the units. I'm going to take this one. All right, we get another good Challenger creature and a Laurent Blade Keeper, which... Which works awesome with challenger stuff you know grants an ally plus two plus two that's a great one shadow flare nah shadow assassin's good reinforcements and prismatic barrier i'm gonna take these creatures those are two good creatures oh senna is awesome senna just has quick attack here spring is fine it's just a basically a, a two drop that trades riposte is really good single combat is really good those are two great tricks. Um, Emerald Awakener, is, Emerald Awakener, and Herald of Spring are the worst two cards out of the six. Shadow Assassin, and you know, is good. Senna is good. Both these tricks are good. Um, like I kind of want to take this middle one because it just works. It works so well with what we're doing. But Senna is really strong. Yeah, Shadow Assassin gives us the draw. It's definitely good. Now, you know, it gives you that card draw. Um, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take the removal, you know, single combat being removal and this repost. I'm going to take that. All right, love you, sorry. We're not really a Navori conspirator deck, but you, sorry, is awesome. Border Lookout is pretty meh and so is defender vanguard like they're just you know curve fillers they would just give us a couple two drops that are kind of meh radiant guardian when someone grant me life steal and tough if an ally died this round that card can be awesome you know like that's a really strong card if it has life steal and tough and then duelist gives an ally challenger this round that's also a strong card i'm kind of leaning that way duelist and guardian i think usari is probably better than guardian so maybe I, maybe we should do this one because then conspirator is a two drop, but conspirator is a two drop that needs needs you to pick up something. I have so many threes. A lot of good cards are three, so maybe stop trying to take three drops. Hmm, maybe I should take this first one. Everybody's voting for this last one. All right, duelist is just is really good. I assume Duelist can give itself Challenger this round, right? Because it says give an ally, and it's an ally. We do need ones and twos so bad, but, like, Conspirator isn't really a two if you don't have other two. Like, because, you know, you, to play it, you have to recall another ally, so it's not, like, really a two. You don't think Duelist can hit itself? It targets before it enters. Okay. All right. Well, we'll kind of try it out. Hmm. Maybe I should have just taken the two two drops. Just to have two two drops. That last pick. 
This one gives me a two. But this is like the the worst cards out of the three. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take the Blade Keeper and the, the Scout. Blade Keeper is just such a good follow-up to any three drop. And obviously we have tons and tons of good three drops. I'm gonna take this middle one with the two fours. Really like that Blade Keeper. All right, Inspiring Mentor is a one drop. So I kind of want to take that with just getting a one drop. <laughs> that's our, that's our play in grief. Um, but Repost, Detain, or a couple of good spells, especially the Repost. Will of Ionia is a, a perfectly fine spell. I'm going to take this one, though. I'm going to just take because it's a one-mana creature that's that's pretty good. And then we just get another five drop, I guess. Ugh. This is not a good pick. This is not a good pick. Well, I do like Rush. I don't really want a five and six mana creature. And these cards are just really weak. I mean, it's two one mana cards, but they're just really weak. Yeah, they're really weak cards. So I guess I'll take the stronger, the strongest one mana card, and then we just get the Stand United, which, which can definitely this can this can do some some crazy stuff. The Stand United. Do we have one already? Yeah, we already do have one. Yeah, I wish wish we had some better cards than what we got here. That was not a good pick. Sparring Student's a, diff a decent one drop, and Refuge is a decent uh, trick, so we could take that. Senna is Senna is better than than Sparring Student, and Back to Back is better than Refuge. So like both of these, like we're not. I don't think we're taking the middle. This one over here. This one has the two weakest cards. This one has like the two middle, and this has the two strongest. But the two you know two strongest doesn't really help out our curve. Oh well. We'll take this. We're gonna be able to like do exchanges and stuff, so we can we can try to exchange down mana costs and everything. Speaking of, we can trade the six drop for a three drop. Um, this this middle trade gives us that's definitely an upgrade in three drops in the middle trade, um, and so is this one. Basically, all of these are good trades. These are all good trades, and they're all upgrades. Um, Yeah, like they're they're all upgrades. Yeah, so the Mage Seeker is is not a yeah it's not great, and it costs six mana. So it's it's definitely the worst of these cards. So let's just do this trade. Because yeah, we don't want that Mage Seeker. All right, we're gonna need some help from from some trades. We're gonna need to hopefully get some wins, get some trades, get some help, get get some more ones and twos. Looks like there was that one spot that I could have took like those two very average two drops and I took something more powerful instead. And I wish I would have taken those two very average two drops instead. Hey, Marias. All right, let's see. What do we got? We got, um, we got a two drop. This is like, you know, maybe our best two drop. We're going to replace all these. You, know, you don't really need to keep a hand of fours and fives. This is a good opener. It's a good opener. Flavor and spice. Eyes peeled. Order to look out. 
it's kind of annoying. So I could attack my 2-3 into it, and basically so I could turn this into a 1-2, and then turn mine into a 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to pass. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, basically that that's that's what the attack would do. Like I would attack, they would block. Man, we just have all the tricks. They'll never see us coming. <laughs> Harvey. Harvey is chewing up a bone underneath me if you're hearing like stuff being torn apart. That's RV right underneath me, chewing up a bone. Um, I'm just going to pass. If you challenged it, the attack was free. Oh, oh, yeah, because that, oh, that, that is true. That is how that works. I'm what nightmares fear. Right, I, I see what you're saying. So basically, because the War Chefs gives the supported ally plus one, plus one, so it would give this, this would turn this into three, two. For some reason in my head, I was thinking it was plus one, plus zero. That's that's where I had it wrong. So yeah, plus one, plus one, and so it'd be two toughness, and we would have pulled it, and then it would have dealt one damage, but that, that, one, that one toughness would have gone away anyway. I see what you're saying. So yeah, that would have been free. Um, let's... Let's see. Let's get. The there we go. And. Mm. No one goes hungry. All right. Well, I'll make that. Yeah, we have so many tricks here. Which is it's cool how how important combat is with this game and how how important combat tricks are. Alright, so these these two are just gonna bounce off each other. We're just trading the two barriers for for each other. Well I guess I traded. Because, yeah, see, that took one, but it's still just going to be one toughness. So, like, that thing's still a 2-1. So, I, I could have done that the previous turn also. Let's move. Mm -hmm. This only works when you're attacking, right? Like, you, quick attack whenever you're blocking doesn't matter, is my assumption. Hey. Okay, yep, that's what y'all are saying, too. Hold on, this card was really good. Double challenger like that. I wasn't planning on attacking with Senna until they played Garen, and I was hoping they were going to block with Garen. Of course. I 
Need to get this karma down. Ouch. Maybe not yet. It says deck tracker is down. No, I mean, I don't know. Let's see. I don't know why it would be. Unless it's... Unless maybe they're updating it because of the changes or something. Thanks, Blue Gen. So could have played this and, you know, would have been lifesteal tough. Getting karma and plated. Draw spells. Ooh. Hmm. Maybe I should have played the Guardian. Yeah, maybe I should have just played the Guardian last turn. I am Mish Tunu. I knew, and now I am. Cool head, steady hand, unwavering heart. <clears throat> These aren't the best random spells to be getting. It's possible... Staying alive. Oh, I should have played. I should have played Remembrance. I should have played Remembrance. Yeah, I should have played Remembrance. Yeah, but I should have just played it first to give me like a you know like a chance at having a lot better blocker. I mean, it will be a little bit cheaper now, but. I should have played that first. All right, so my, my plan is to, to do the fully heal an ally, then double its health with the, on this 2-2, two, because two, it's about to be a 6-6. Six, six. And so I'm going to make it a 12-12. Yeah, see, I would have got, got a 5-5. Five, five. That would have been good. My spirit is an unpunchable fire. Oh, and then we also get to double it. My wisdom is now my strength. So if they don't have, like, removal for this... It's going to be a 24-24. This is going to be kind of crazy. They can they can just go to, straight to attacks, you know, also like it's going to be their priority now. I hope they don't have any removal or anything and I get to just attack for 24. Oh no! I definitely need to attack before they do now.
because they can they can put these things at like the end and and they could challenge her my 24 24 and put it at the end and have these things like attack first that these would do damage first and kill me first do not interfere it's too late for you mm, this doesn't make me feel very good all right that's fine all right we got to gain 24 life in this game you can only go to 20 you can't go above 20. i was thinking like i was thinking maybe they had like the thing that like you know they had like will of ionia that would bounce and put it back in their hand and then i wouldn't gain all that life that's what i was worried about Hmm. Where you go, I go. Oh, barrier would also allow you not allow you to gain life. Oh, wow. Yeah, that would have been scary, too. Oh, they have they have that thing too. So now I have to gain life first, and then I'll lose it all. So I'm gonna lose seventeen life this way, and then it's gonna be them attacking the next turn. I will end this here. I guess I just chomp. All right, we'll keep the keep the extra mana. Oh, right, Karma doesn't give doesn't give you spells anymore. Boo. And grant elites plus one plus one. As soon as we could. Good to fight by your side. I guess this is gonna happen twice. So I'll get three elites. That is a good spell to double. Attacking with the five fives. I guess if I don't attack with the five fives, I can't play anything. But it's just not good to attack with them into Garen into and this thing's a five five tough, so it doesn't die to a five five. Back to 20. They can attack for two. Well, they, they missed that attack for two. They should, should just attack for two in the air. These are dangerous lands. I will play my part. I can't do anything. Can't play any more creatures. I want to play this first, and then this, and then these, and then that last. <clears throat> Stand United is a great draw. Oh, 
cannot escape. I stand ready. Thanks, Blue Fire. Thank you. Yeah, so we can. We have two things that we can do. I can just go for lethal and put, you know, put this over here, you know, swap them and have this 24 power thing be unblocked. Or I can do the, the safe play. That's like kind of risky if they have like a bounce spell or something because then, you know, like my karma's dying. Um,. Wait, does this mean... Wait, so I cast this, cast it again on the same targets. Okay. Wait. How is this going to work? Karma will just swap it back, right? I guess they'll have barrier, though. So if they're just going to swap back, I want to give Karma the barrier. Yeah, that's actually... That's not even good with Karma. <laughs> Yeah, they'll, so they'll just go back to the original position. So I might as well just keep Karma alive. That's really weird. <laughs> Too many creatures. Should probably try to finish this game out at some point. No, Enrique, no, I'm playing this this new game. All right, they got a bunch of Garens. So they're not attacking with that one, so these ones are are tough. Um, is it useful for me to block? That's basically my question. Space I can block and just give you know give more space to other stuff. I don't think I need to though. First victory. One no. Wait, start the day. And got a reward already. We got an, a new area. Let's get this reward. Okay, a couple of commons, some sump dredgers to play me, discard one, and some shards. <laughs> yeah, that shadow shift was crazy. All right, uh, let's see. So we get a new, all right, we get a new champion. Um, we did see Karma being really strong there, but I do like single combat and repost, but I don't really like Shen that much. Lancer is really strong. First Blade's kind of meh. Fiora is awesome. I think I want to take this. I mean, we're we're definitely like a Fiora deck. So I think I want to take this first one. I really wish they gave us some cheaper creatures, though. You know, like we just got an expensive deck. This doesn't help it too much. 
But the thing is, is none of these do. This one, I mean, I guess, you know, we get the single combat. So whenever Shen flips, what do we got? It's a 3-6, give your supported ally barrier. When the ally gets barrier, give it plus 3, plus 0. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to keep the Fiora. <clears throat> Fiora's really good. What is this, another reward thing? Oh, we got the capsule also, I guess. Cool. Got four more commons and a rare. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah, Shen does work perfectly with Fiora. That's a good call. Shen giving Fiora a barrier. I don't want any of these. Uh, I guess I'll just replace that too. Just try to give us a better chance of hitting cheaper creatures. Well, it looks like we got a challenger here. Challenger, 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 challenger. Three mana challenger. That's that's all our deck's about. Three mana challengers. Five drop, six drop. Can't play anything yet. Strength and grace, beauty the blade. They're obviously not going to play a creature until I attack. Or, well, I guess they can play one that's a 3-3. Three, three. Um... We can use the Blade Keeper to give the Fiora plus two plus two. The finest blades for my I need only one to win. Uh we are I just got to silver yesterday. I yeah, I've been kinda of playing more expeditions than rank to start with to you know build the collection and stuff, but we just got to silver yesterday. I think yesterday was like our fifth day playing. Uh, this is not great. Because I don't have any protection. Like my blade. Save my blade. Unfortunately, repost cost four. I only have the three. Extra mana set up. We force them to act first. No, that is not good. That is not good. Hmm. An apt My life will be order. Oh, this is rough. Yeah, I think I think Karma is just our basically our only option. At least it's our best option. Keep giving me such such expensive spells. Give me cheap stuff. Hmm. 
That is scary. This is pretty scary. <laughs> I will play my part. By force of will. All right, so we'll give Karma a barrier. And block. All right, we got rid of two champions. That's big game. They would fall by my blade. Let them eat souls. Try me. It's probably not worth it. I mean, obviously, I could I could attack with this. But that's the thing is I need to need to keep that up. Need to protect. Yep, that's true. Yeah, they should only have three champions. So yeah, we got rid of two of the three. So it could be another Hecarim or a, or a Zed or Hecarim. Um, I don't think any of these save that. I think they finally they finally got that. All right, they got Hecker on back. So it looks like I'm dead. Would stand would stand united have worked? Would that have worked? It would have killed this thing instead. I guess I should have just tried it for for science because I've because otherwise I'm you know by not doing it I'm I'm just dead. So yeah, y'all are saying that would have worked. Okay, well that's that's good to know. I I yeah I didn't think that that would that would work. But yeah, I guess I should have just cast it because. This brings along two three twos, and I can't, you know, I can make two creatures here, but I can't do enough besides that. Stay alive. Okay, yeah, so that's good to know. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize that it worked that way. That we would have just lost Fiora instead. All right, we get to swap out a card. Uh, I want a cheap creature. Green Glade Duo is a cheap creature, but we get rid of a cheap spell. I was hoping to get rid of an expensive creature for a cheap creature. Um, but maybe we still just do this and get the Green Glade Duo. I do like Rush, though. Rush only costs one mana. What's up, Blind? Thank you so much. Keeping that Twitch Prime sub going for one whole year. That is awesome. Thank you, Blind. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we can trade on guard. This on guard is not very good. So we can trade that for a stand united, but that's our third stand united. But this is this is definitely the worst card over here. I don't know if I'll ever even use on guard to be honest. Like that's just not even a very useful card. So maybe we just trade it away.
I'm going to do that. I know the Green Glade duo would be really nice to have, but I just don't want the useless card that I don't want. Yeah, the, the thing is I just have like a whole lot of Challenger and already and stuff like that. Okay, I like this hand. I'm going to replace the 5 drop. This is a good hand though. We got our good 2 drop. And we're we're attacking turn 3. So we'll be able to attack immediately with Senna or Protégé. And of course, Protégé and War Chefs work really well together. And we get to, to bank the one spell mana to be able to use the rush. Time to get my hands dirty. So this is just working out really well. I don't need to challenge that thing. I guess I'll play Senna. I'm what nightmares fear. Hey Kitty Dexterity, thank you so much. Feel the sizzle. Welcome, welcome. No one goes hungry. Of course, they're just gonna chump block Senna. Is my assumption. Search then. All right, they get a spell. Remember the fallen. That's a good turn. That was a good turn. <clears throat> Skip block. Confine and contain. So playing the protege here means that I don't have to play another creature before I go straight to attack. So I can go straight to attacks now. Right, I want this one, then this, then this. Yeah. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Because this should hopefully just, you know, I just want to play Karma this turn five after combat. Start getting spells with Karma. That's my plan. Alright, that's fine. Bring peace to Ionia. Ooh. Do I detain Karma right now? Or do I play my own Karma? Hmm. Ionia speaks. Yeah, I'll just play our own Karma. Detain is just not reliable. It's not like a hard removal spell. So we know they they we know that they have two spell you know in their hand they got at least two spells that cost three or more. I have seven total mana. If I want to hold this up, I can play a four drop. I long for a worthier opponent. 
We will not stand by. Pull here, pull here. Eat up, friend. No closer. So you know, priorities on them. If they just pass, I'm not going to do anything. I'll just let this happen because it'll kill their karma. So I'll just let it happen, even though my Fiora dies. I'm fine with that. Making the dead dead. These woods protect their own. I think keeping Fiora is necessary. Well, I mean, it, we could just get blown out if I try using. Well, I guess this thing is burst. So, like, does it? I guess would this give them priority again if I cast Rush, or would it would have just gone straight to damage? I guess if if it would have. You know, if it would not have given them priority, then yeah, I, I should have done that. Yeah, they would get to respond. Yeah, that's that's so yeah. So I we we know they have a good amount of spells in hand and stuff, and they get to respond. I don't really want to. Um. I'm just going to keep up all my spell mana. Harry reports, you are toast. Aha. See if this works. Giving that thing a barrier. It now pumps that thing. Everything has barriers. So I want to make sure that we can keep Karma alive. So our Laurent Challenger is gone. So honestly, maybe I shouldn't be playing this 5-4. Because now they have the 3 mana and I can't, I'm not protecting Karma. Yep. To the next fire. 
That's alright. Attack. Oh, I should do the Lucian thing first so it doesn't see four... Like, it doesn't need to see two more allies die. That's going to be difficult, but yeah, I could have done that first. They're at 10. This is 8 damage coming through. An ally captures a unit. What if we have our 5-4 capture your 3-2 instead? Oh, should I just do... I guess I could have just done the Shadow Shift and just recalled it, and then they then they deal take three with the Shadow Shift. Yeah, maybe that was the thing to do. This game's so tricky. So many tricks. Yeah, Shift probably would have been better. Hmm. Yep. Yep, shift would have been better. I mean, I guess they, they probably would have just bounced like my, my shadow shift thing, but that's not really a problem. At least Lucian reset at least. So that's good news. That's definitely good news. You're late. You're early. They have their own Senna. I was the one with you. Yeah, this is this is just this is this is a pretty difficult, intense game here. You know, they have the two challengers, the two quick attacks. So exactly how they want to set that up. Um, that is super scary. Just get a chump blocker out here. That's super scary. Hmm. 
The 4 3 double attack. need to pay attention to that rope. I'll bring them peace. I just lost this because I took too long to sign that. So what I was going to do is I was going to Spirits Refuge the 6-4 and then I was going to Well, that hurts. I never really, I never really pay attention to that too much. You know, used to play an arena where, um, you know, even if, even if the rope goes away, you usually have like like two ropes kind of thing. Like you know, like you build up ropes over time, and so at the end of the game like that, like while you're thinking, it's it's okay to let like one rope go by. Things a four eight. Victory lies ahead. This is my cause. This song, this is Queens of the Stone Age. This is Little Sister. Stay back. It's an interesting block. Oh, close my eyes, make it fair. All right, we're suddenly not dead. We're suddenly not dead. Not over yet. That was such a great combat for us. Oh, wow, now they'd have to recall that thing. But, you know, we got to gain a lot of life. Walk softly, strike quickly. So we're up to 11. Don't have to worry about that 3 damage killing us. So why wouldn't they play, like, their challenger? That is a weird pass. 
Is that a, I know I'm dead, so I just pass pass? Yeah, I guess, I guess that's what that was. That was it. I'm just dead, so I just pass into the game. What a great game. What a great, intense, back and forth game. That was a really good one. Card swap. Cheaper creature. <laughs> These are not cheaper creatures. Um, I think I'm going to do this middle one. I'm, I'm not really a huge Detain fan. As we see, like both times we've used Detain, they've gotten their thing back. And Will of Ionia is just kind of nice of just being a bounce spell. I'm going to just do this middle one. Technically lowers our curve, I guess. Trading five mana for four mana also. GG's. Yeah, that was an awesome comeback. That was. That was really good there. All right, let's see. Let's put back just the cards. I'll keep Karma. Karma is just so powerful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you're right, Wizard. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta update some stuff for sure. What's up, QQ? Hey, good afternoon. Smell that? The chefs. <laughs> Clump of Wumps. What a name, Clump of Wumps. Got something that's fun to say. Nice little art here. Fun card to see. Just fun all the way around. Clumpa lumps. Making the dead dead. Yeah, no, that yep, that lifesteal, that last game was huge. Absolutely. So I'm gonna have four mana. It's pretty aggressive to attack with this thing also, and then, you know, that forces me to repost first before damage, and so then if they have a trick, then they get to respond, and they could two-for-one me. Don't think we need to do that. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Two five. It's hard for Zed to attack into a two five. So you playing some more of this game, QQ? So how's how's it going? Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I guess that question for, for anybody. Am I playing uh, Legends of Ruterra, let me know how it's going. Um, so getting Karma out as early as possible is nice, but Karma is a 4-3, and it doesn't really set me up with, you know, better blockers. Let's. I'm going to Jewel Protector the Karma and make Karma even bigger and better. Doesn't mean that I could play Karma with three mana back next turn, but obviously repost cost four. <laughs> he just got home. There you go. I think I should have gone the Protector on like one of these on like the first blade. I could see that too. They have the opportunity to, they have the ability to give me a whole bunch of puff caps very soon. 
asking for me. Yeah, they're gonna give give me a whole bunch of buff caps. So much power crippled by restraint. Oh my gosh. All four? Do they have four of them? Can't you only have three of a card? How do they have four? So that's 17. Just casting that gives me 17. Oh, this is draft. Right. <laughs> We're in draft. You can have as many as you get. We got 34 total after just those two little things. That's great. All right, well, it looks like I probably need to be more aggressive attack-wise, attacking-wise. Which I can be. Gross. So I can just play a generic 5-mana five 5-5 five five or this first guard that will grow over time. It would be a 4-4 four four to start with, but then then grow. Or I'd play the 4-2 quick attack. I can just play the 4-2 quick attack. I'm what nightmares fear. Yeah, I have to try to get this thing to have life steal, but you know, I don't have creatures oh, dying awesome. necessarily. I can like next turn I can just like attack out and have something die. Like my war chefs maybe. And then play this thing with life steal. We're gonna I'm gonna have like sixty of these things. Sixty seven. They follow the wrong master. Yeah, sixty seven. What is this attack about? By force of will. I think they just want Probably looks like they just want the spot. Could have blocked with the Warshafts and just gotten the Elite in play. That's not, not a great spell. Ouch. Well, they'll probably have to do some blocking. I got 11 mana, so I can play standalone and repost and rush. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. And we'll kind of see what happens. Would a mushroom help? All right, so we're going to start by standalone. We're going to swap this and this. Give those both. That. And then, so they're taking 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So right now they're taking lethal. So it's back on them. So I guess I won't, I won't do anything else right now. All right. Seventeen or fourteen. Oops. And we're three and one. All these combat tricks are just really solid. Oh, we get another champion, so we can get another Fiora. Hmm. This is a tough one, actually. 
So Fiora comes with another Senna, which is good, and a Repost, which I love Repost. Those are good, good, good cards. But you know, more threes and fours. Um, Karma comes with two good cards also, but then we, or we could try a Shen. And Shen comes with the Laurent Chevalier, um, which is a you know good solid card and a Usari. Hmm. These are all good choices, but none of them help out my curve problem of starting at three. Yeah, this Laurent Chevalier is nice. I wonder if Shen, you know, attacking, giving supporting ally barrier. Maybe we should be going with Shen. And obviously Usari is awesome. So a couple of challengers with this. Maybe we should go with that. You think the Shen pile's too slow and okay. Repost is awesome. This is a definitely a very slow pile with the Karma. Also powerful. They're very they're all very powerful. I think I'm going to go with the Shen, honestly. I don't know. Let's see, it's a 4-4-5. Four, four, I just I like these two cards more than the Senna Repost. I like the Chevalier Usari more than Senna Repost. So this is basically four mana removal that also draws a card. It draws another removal spell. Like that's that's really strong. You know, like it's four mana removal plus draw a removal spell. That's really good. And Usari, you know, can be removal or flying. What's up, Zerf? It's going great. That's true. Yeah, we can b barrier the Chevalier and have it keep on drawing cards. Chevalier seems perfect with these rushes also. But I guess so is Fiora. I'm going to take this. I haven't, I've never had Shen in my deck. and Yeah, let's do it. Get a third different champion in here. Uh, looks like a kind of a, a slow control deck that we got over here. Probably a good a good value deck. Um, this is a slow start. There we go. Now that's a curve. <clears throat> That's an aggressive card. So we can use like the War Chefs to give another ally plus one plus one to protect it, and we can have the Shen give the War Chefs barrier. Yep, yep, move went decent. Move went decent. And yeah, mixing it up with a different game. This game. This game is super well put together. It's brand new, you know, by Riot. Uh, you know, people make League of Legends. Um, you know, I, this isn't going to be just like a, a fad type game. This game is awesome. Took the bait. Uh, let's see. Let's let's play. When I'm summoned, create an Enrage Yeti in the top three cards of your deck. Strength 
can grace beauty in the play. So many good options right now. Kusan, such an honor. Ugh, family is family. So many good options. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a rush to protect the Chevalier. I guess I don't even need to attack with that thing. Because they're bull. So this will strike, create a random challenger follower. Never mind. It does not strike. Let's see, we'll just skip the block. They got me. The and we'll get Shen in play. One second. Let's see. All right, so I got a 4-4 four, four and a 4-5. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. So we can do a whole lot, you know, like we can give another thing barrier. Um, and, you know, we still have the barrier, the rush. Okay, so we're going to My gun attack. Oh, let's see. Feel the sizzle. You will remember this day. Hmm. How do I don't want to do this? Fight me! I dare you. So good chance they still have, you know, they have another trick over there too. I'll just let the I'm just gonna let the war chefs die instead of trying to protect it. Spending all my mana on that. Look at that, Drew, you sorry? Dude, this card's good. Well, five five flyer is pretty big. I guess we're gonna have to bounce that. But obviously that's not a great thing to bounce because they get to replay it and draw another card.
step lightly. With the power of our own. <laughs> Enraged Yeti. Yeah, I can't just block it with Usari, that's true. And then I can give Usari a barrier also. And then I can kill it with like my this 2-1. This is a bunch of five fives, though. a bunch of five fives. Yeah, one mana five fives. That was a pretty good turn for them, you know, playing Shadow Assassin double enraged Yeti. Alright. Um we're going to have you give a barrier to this thing that's going to kill a 5-5. Five five. We're going to have you kill a 2-2 two two flying lifelinker. I'm going to have you kill a 4-3. And I'm going to have you attack. And you can kill just a regular 2-2. Two two. So if they have no tricks, it's going to be a pretty decent combat for me. They're going to lose four things. I'll lose three things if I just pass. I'll lose the Senna also. A little surprised they're blocking Senna, not um, Shen. So yeah, they just passed. Um... I'll try giving this barrier. Honestly, maybe I'm supposed to be giving it to the Chevalier, to be honest. Now they get priority again. We'll see if I get punished for giving them priority again. Or if I should have just taken <clears throat> the three for four trade. Yep. Punished for... We're giving him priority again. Because now this doesn't strike, now I don't draw a card. Vitellius! Thank you so much. Coming up on a year of subs. That's amazing. Thank you, Vitellius. Overwhelm? An ancient yeti? I will play my part. Okay. 
So you're gonna block here. You're going to block. I think that's Overwhelm. It's gonna block there. You're gonna block here. Close my eyes, make it fair. What is send level up to a three six? Okay, you'll block here. There is no dispute. All right, and then we're gonna swap these two, give them barriers. The balance has been maintained. Oh, I can't block an elusive unit with that. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't switch like that. Well then. I mean, this thing's a 5-4 with a barrier. I don't I don't know if that's any different. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, Vitellius. I definitely recommend getting Legends of Ruterra. Yeah, this this game is is really neat. It's all the games are, you know, like real close and they're they're real uh, there's just so many decisions to make. Um, everything's like pretty even. It's just, it's just a really well put together game. Like everything is about it. Yeah, I, I highly recommend it. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you love the username for the game. I think I'm gonna be changing my my stream and YouTube title and stuff to this too. So I don't have just the MTG because I think some people will see me streaming this and you know see the MTG and think that. Um, They have two cards in hand. I like it. It's possible I should just be moving straight to attacks. This is going to give something plus three, plus zero. So it's just 11 in the air. Just have 11 in the air. Oh dang! I'm sorry, Blue Jin. Your PC can't play the game. Ready the not not strong enough, man. I'm sorry. This isn't part That's of rough. Training. Look out for reavers. How did that move go? Well, they have to block with this one one also, right? Okay, so your new PC can, but your your crap PC can't. I gotcha. Okay, so you you have a PC that can. It's just your crap PC can't. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yuck. This would be a good winter. Fight on. Fight the signal fires. Pin feathers. Well, it's not over yet. Not over yet. Still ahead, of course. A new era uh, maybe I'm dead now? I don't know. I don't know exactly what this thing does. Deal. Attack do two to all enemies. Is 
It kind of seems like I'm dead. Oh, that this hits the Nexus too? All right. Yeah, because all enemies, that, that, includes, that includes my Nexus, which is my life total. All right, we're not we're not eliminated yet though, because we only lost two in a row. Man, we cannot just trade for a cheaper creature. All I want to do is trade for one and two drops. We've gone through five games here. We can't we can't find any one or two drops to trade for. Uh, I don't think I do any of these. I think the only one that to maybe think about is this one trading a snapper for the Yone. Yone. Um, that's the only one to consider. I do have just, you know, I have 10 three drops, so it's like, do I really need a snapper also? Where like Yone later on can help win. I think I think we do that one. I'm not doing the first first or third. We'll we'll do that. We'll just take the Yone. Uh, let's see. Replace. 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 Okay. So Mentor is only giving plus one plus zero now. Mentor is not as busted as he used to be. So not plus, you know, that'd be ni really nice to have Fiora be a 4-4, four, four, not a 4-3. It's all good, gamer. Welcome back. We're playing Legends of Lu uh, Legends of Runeterra. Is the name of this game here. It's a brand new card game. Yeah, made by the same people from League of Legends. Gator Frank, lucky thirteen. Thanks, thanks, Gator Frank. Thank you so much. Alright, bring in Fiora out. Pledge yourself to the right, raise this up. Zed. I'm just gonna trade. We got more Fioras. You know, obviously if they were gonna play Zed, I would want to play Protege, but if we played Protege, they probably weren't playing Zed. We'll take what we need to survive. Whenever I survive damage, grant me plus three plus zero. Hmm. I walk this space between worlds. That card could be a problem. So I think I need to play the Us Usari, not the Zed. Or sorry, not, not the Fiora. No, I didn't. I didn't see it. Ugh, they have another one of these things? Hmm. So I go. Nope. I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay to have one of these survive because I can just kill it the next turn. Ugh. This isn't good. All that attack did was turn those into five twos. The 
very last game, Carvalho was completely mana screwed. That's rough. That's something good about this game. Don't have to worry about that at all. Like, you know, you always just hit your land drops, get to get to play. You know, you like you're always like both players are always in the game. That is very nice. All right, fewer time. So we're gonna just, we're definitely gonna block here. Just trade that away. <clears throat> and I'm gonna give Fiora a barrier. Strike without worry. Taking seven. Not for a while, Spark Fun. Legend of Terra here is just awesome. And decided to play this game. How am I dealing with this 7 6? Is the real question. That's the real question. I'm what nightmares fear. Yep. I think my answer is back to back. Um, I attack out with these. They have the 7-6 block my 2-3. And then I back-to-back -back them. Wait a minute. No, this isn't This isn't the swap things they get plus 3. Uh, I was thinking... I don't, we've... I have like that six mana trick where we swap stuff so much that I was just kind of thinking of that. Yeah, that's, that's the wrong card. This is the just the this is not the card that I was thinking it was. <laughs> In my head, for some reason, I mean, you know, I was thinking it was the swap put barrier on. Uh, well, this isn't great. Down. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. If only Fiora could see me now. She can. She's not impressed. I messed that up. Yeah, I could have. Pulled in the 7-6 and then back to back the Fiora. I just had the wrong idea, idea of a card. Such unrefined style. Stay alive. No, I have another one of those. Ugh, don't stay alive. All right, well, dead. Make mistakes, that happens. Make mistakes, you die. All right, first trial complete. 
We just got three wins. Let's we got a rare wild card though. Ooh, it got upgraded. It's like a 10% chance of upgrading. So yeah, the rare wild card got upgraded to an epic. Nice. Hey Loco Suave. Alright, so you know like that happens. That happens. Um I you know I made made a mistake there that game. I just had the wrong idea of what my six six mana trick did. Um, but, you know, like, we had a lot of good stuff in that deck. A whole lot, you know, like, we had a whole lot of good stuff. I think our deck was pretty powerful. But you kind of saw the the problem of having everything cost three, four, five mana. And that's, that's unfortunately where we were at. We just didn't have enough one and two mana stuff. So that's, that's what we really learned there is sometimes you got to take worse cards that are just, like, one and two drops. Like, there was one of those picks early on that I had like two just kind of mediocre two drops that I passed up for some better cards that cost more. And I just never got, you know, they never gave me mediocre two drops after that. That was like, you know, like around like nine or 10 out of the 15. And then even with all the swaps, I could just never pick up some like mediocre ones and twos and stuff like that. So you got to prioritize, you got to uh, prior prioritize those. I liked. I actually did like the Shen. I thought the Shen played pretty well, but um, but yeah, I think that that was kind of my downfall. Obviously, uh, I could have played a little better the last game too, as far as other things that were my downfall there. Um, but there we go. There's our first expedition. So we only got three wins. Um, that may have been my worst expedition I've ever had. Honestly, I'm not sure. Um, but we get we get a second trial. So we get a second chance. So we're going to uh, play trial number two now. Uh, try to get there. And then we have two ranked decks that we're going to be playing. We're going to be playing Buffed Elusives and Fierce of Midrange. Those, those will be fun. All right, but there's our there's our first uh, expedition there. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you do that. And you know, feel free to leave those comments too. I appreciate both of those. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, this first expedition, and I'll see you for the next one.